Good morning and welcome back. Mr. Parker here live from my backyard on a beautiful Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you had a good day of online learning yesterday and you're enjoying the great weather today. Yesterday we talked a lot about anger and a few of you sent me the things that make you angry. Whether it's somebody bumping into you and you drop something or things not going how you thought they would or things not being perfect or cleaning up and doing chores when you'd rather be sleeping or playing video games. Being aware of the things that makes you upset are gonna be the focus of our lesson today. We're going to talk about triggers or anger buttons, okay? So things that we know are gonna make us angry. I want you to think about your anger like a thermometer. The bottom is cool. It's things that don't really bother us. And the top is burning hot mad. I made this little thermometer and we'll talk about it in a little bit. It's really important to be aware of our triggers or our anger buttons or those things that get us to the top of the thermometer because that way when they happen or when they're about to happen, it's not a surprise and we know how to handle it. So I want to talk about a few different situations. And remember, some things make people really angry and other people, they don't really care. And that's okay. We're all different. But know what puts you at the top of your thermometer. So. Let's pretend that your brother or your sister comes into the TV room and they change the channel and you're watching something you really liked. How would that make you feel? A one being not angry at all, a five being so angry, and two, three, four being somewhere in between. I want you to think about that and you can post it in the comments below or send me an email. What about if somebody called you a mean name? Would that be a one for you? A two, a three? a four, or even a five. Think about how different things rise your anger or lower your anger, okay? Uh, a lot of you wrote in that when things don't go your way, that makes you really angry. Maybe your drawing doesn't look exactly like how you had hoped, or maybe you wanted to sleep all day, but you had work and chores to do. Not getting the things that we want can be really hard, even for adults. So thank you for those of you who have recognized that's one of your triggers or your anger buttons. I want you to try and make a thermometer at home and put at least two things on each level. You'll notice I have traffic and meetings at the very top of mine, and I have bad weather down at the bottom. Bad weather doesn't really bother me. We're gonna sing our song, and then we'll talk a little bit more about your homework. About the things that make you mad. Take a pulse check before you start to do something bad. If you know you don't like losing, keep it cool, you choose it. It all starts with being aware of your buttons. If you know what ticks you off, you can beat it like it's nothing. Just got to be aware of your anger buttons. Those are the things that make you mad. Thanks for tuning in. For homework this week, I want you to make your own anger thermometer. One, two, three, four, and five, and put at least two things under each section that get you to that level of anger. You can post them in the comments below. You can send them to my email. If you're at my school, you can send them to my school email. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.